Hi boys and girls, it's Mr. Gates and we're going to learn how to make a gingerbread house with some graham crackers and some icing, scissor, serrated knife, a spoon, plastic bag, and your foil all ready to be the base. Well, the first thing you need are the crackers. We're going to use six crackers. One for a wall on this side, one for a wall on this side. Now we're going to need the short ends of course and Guess what? These will work perfectly. One standing up like this, and one standing up like that. And of course you're saying, but Mr. Yates, they can't be like that. They have to be cut. Yes, we're going to take a look at how to cut them. And then guess what? Two more, one for each part of the roof. Okay, so there are six crackers. Let's get them out of our way, because we've got some cutting to do. Let's cut the first two. And this is going to be a little bit tricky, but if you take your time and are careful, everything will be fine. Notice that they are divided with these dotted lines. Well, what you're going to do is use those dotted lines to help you. One at the top there in the center, that's great. And you're going to come down, not to this dotted line, but the dotted line above that. There's a dotted line above that. You can put your finger there, sort of. So go to the center, to this dotted line here, and you just very lightly draw your knife back and forth across that until you get a line and you don't want to make a big cut. Don't try and cut through it like a chef on top chef or anything like that. You just want to score it lightly, score it lightly, score it lightly. Now if you want to be really brave, once you have it scored you can try and crack it. Oh, that worked out pretty well. If there's a little bit of extra you can just break it off with your fingers. Do it to the other side now. There's my finger at the dotted line above the middle. Go from the center top to my finger. And we're just kind of slicing away here, making that score line. Now sometimes parts are gonna break and I don't know what, if it's gonna happen here or not, but if it does, I won't be sad because we can always fix everything with the icing. All right, not too shabby. There we go, that's what one short end would look like. And it's ultimately gonna go kind of like this, or like this, depending on how detailed you want to be with your dot spacing in or out. Okay, let's get another piece cut, another end. Let's go for another triangle here. Again, you can see I'm just giving it a light, a little score, I'm not worrying about actually cutting through. I'll do it again over here, right to there, doing that, and snap, and snap. Love it. Okay, look at that extra on there. Just be gentle as you nip it off little bit at a time. Remember boys and girls, little bit at a time is important. Okay, so I've got two ends and two sides, or a side and an end and a side and an end. What's next? The icing. Hold on while we come back with the icing. Okay, boys and girls, for this part, we need the icing, a spoon, plastic bag, and some scissors. We're gonna make a pastry piping bag. Now, the best thing to do is make sure there are no crumbs in there. Roll down your bag two or three times. All right, so it's kind of like that, right? All right, now what we need to do is get some icing in there. We don't have to put the whole darn can in here, but one nice big glop is great. If you have another person handy who can hold the bag for you, that would be super. I'm gonna put that in there and push on the outside of the bag. And oh, ta-da, I've got some icing in the bag now. Uh, is that enough? One scoop? Probably not for now. So let's just go back and get a second one just in case. It's all usually a little bit better to have some extra. Okay, put that over there. I'll eat that later. Now I've got most of this icing in the bag. It should be down in one of the corners. When I put that spoon in there, I want to go down toward a corner. And I want to get this pushed down as much as possible. And then pinch at the top and twist. A little bit, not too much, just a little. See that point at the end? I'm gonna take my scissors and we're gonna clip off just a little bit. You can always take off more. Don't make it too big to start with. Now what do I need? Well, the base of course, ta-da! I have to put some icing on these pieces to support the house, hold it together. It's the glue. So. First, let's take one of these big guys here. I'm gonna need icing in two spots. First, along 
the long edge. So I'm gonna hold the cracker in one hand, or maybe a friend could hold it for me, and I'll use the piping bag to put a line of icing right on that cracker. Go along, go along, go along, go along. And you can be fairly generous with it. Set this down. Decide where your house is going to go. Maybe you should do that ahead of time. And clunk. Press it in. Now, is it going to stay there? No, probably not. So this is where you need your friend again. Or maybe the jar of icing. Just lean it up against there. Now take one of the ends. We're going to do almost the same thing. We have to go along the bottom, of course, to hold it to the foil. That's nice and short and easy. But now I need it on the sides, too. So I'll go up the side here. Woo! Woo! It's a little goopy. Be careful. And up the side here. Woo! 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 Okay, up to the straight side. That's really messier than I'd like it to be, but oh well. Hey, you know what? Everything can't be perfect, right? Flip it over. Let's do this side now. This edge. So I got the three edges done. Put my bag down. Now here's an important part. I'm going to set this down at the end, but I'm going to have it inside of the edge of the long wall. Inside. And we'll see why that's important in a minute. Not a lot inside, but just a little inside. So I'm going to stand that up, make sure it's all nice and square. Right? And guess what? The icing is already gooey enough that I can probably pull that icing can away. And ta-da! It stands! Yay! Now what did I mean by inside? Well, take a look. If I put this short crack, or the pointy one, on the outside edge, that means when I put the roof on, the roof is not going to be long enough to go over the gable end here. Yeah, that's what the pointy part is called, the gable end. Alright? I need it to come over it a little bit. So I need to make sure that my end cracker, the short cracker, is inside a little bit. See? Inside. Well, the rest is pretty easy. Um, how about I do another one of these? Let's do those three sides. There we go. Zoop. Zoop. One, two, and three. I'm going faster than you might here, just for video demonstration's sake. And squish that in. Two hands, maybe a friend. Not bad to have that. And now guess what? Because I've got glue here and glue here, I just need glue here. Let's get this guy going. And watch how I set this in. I'm going to go in at the very bottom corners, put some support over here on the back side, and flip up, gently press together. Wow, this is pretty cool. This is looking nice. Maybe I'll decorate it later. Oh, I need some roof, uh, some roof pieces. Guess what? Two more crackers to the rescue. They're going to go on just like this. Now, you may have noticed um, the way that I cut it, that if I put the cracker here, there's going to be a little bit of a gap. Oops, that was a little bit of a mistake. I didn't mean to do that. So, how can I fix it? Well, I could put some licorice in there, some candies to cover it. I could put the roof down here and put big candy across the top. Or I could just sort of um, fill it with icing. Some people do that. Um, let's try something like this. Let's just put... So, what we're going to do in order to um, deal with this larger uh, opening is add two roofs. And you can see um, I've already experimented here, and we're going to go uh, go again here, by um, adding some icing to the short sides of a large cracker. And you can also put some on the edges of the gables here. Mm -hmm. And you want to put just enough, not too much, because if you put too much on, the icing will be too loose, and it will the roof will slide down. So this will help us take care of that big gap. And what we'll do is just affix the roof like this. So now you're saying, wow, that's a big gap, Mr. Yates. Yeah, it is, but that's okay because, as you can see from this outline of where the next one's going to go, um, we're going to put another layer on, kind of like a, a shingled roof. And you can see the back of this graham cracker has already some icing on there for an outline. 
And I'm just going to redo that. I'm going to put some on here. Go around and around. Do, 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 do. Go all the way around with my icing so that I can put this second layer on over this one. And about, you know, covered about halfway or so. Put it right up. And there we go. Now I can try gluing it to uh, the top once I've got the other side done, which I already did here. Just adding a little icing here. Check the sides for any extra openings. Squirt a little in if I need to. Looks pretty good there. Maybe a dollop here would work. Okay. And I'm just going to let it be for overnight so that um, it hardens. Now, this is a good way for us to compensate for that huge opening. Now, what can we do to prevent that huge opening and have just one cracker on each side? I have an idea for that too. So here's another option for assembling the gable ends and the roof. A template. I'll have a bunch of these cut out for you so that they fit right over the top of the graham cracker like that. And the template has been designed specifically for one cracker roofing. So what we're going to do is gently hold the template in place so the point is at the top center here. And if you're grasping mostly the sides and cutting along these lines here, maybe you can sidle your finger up along like this just a little bit to keep it, um, keep the knife guided along that edge and gently scrape away as we said before and not actually cut through, just score so that we can snap later that part. And then of course over here, maybe I'll try it with two fingers, I don't know, let's see. All right, you're going to try and stay along that line there. Take your time and score. Score and snap as they say, right? Template goes on to the next friend. Score, snap, score, snap, Aha! there we go. There are those little bits again I talked about that we can just pinch off with our fingers gently. All right, so that is a nice edge. Ta-da, check that out. That is the perfect size for having just one cracker be your roof. This is the size of a cracker, so you can see it fits that angle very nicely. All right, we like that. Would you rather see a whole cracker piece for that? Well, in that case, here you go. That's what it would look like. All right, it fits very nicely. So we have a few options for you in terms of roofing.